I'm joined now by two women who are at the forefront of effects to minimise the harmful impact of the fashion industry. Dr. Venice Pan is the founder of sustainable luxury brand Deploy, and Amy Pauni is creative director of the designer brand Mother of Pearl, which produces a sustainable fashion line. line. It's aptly named No Frills. Lovely to have you both with us. Thank you, Lucy. Venice, let's just reflect for a moment on the death of Karl Lagerfeld at 85. What an icon in the industry. Have you found him inspirational at all? Over yes. The years? Um, well, he's uh, obviously got lasting influence and inspiration to all designers, not least for being at the helm of Chanel for such a long time. And uh, Chanel, Coco Chanel being quite the icon of uh, a new way of consuming back then, which is to actually reduce waste and reduce extravagance. Um, now that the giants of 20th century are ascending, it makes way and a critical time for uh, us to actually have a fashion reformation. Amy, we almost need to return to those days of Coco Chanel where you bought something well made and well cut and you wore yeah. it for years. Yeah, I mean we use that reference all the time actually. Mm. Sort of we've sped up so quickly that we've just really raced ahead of ourselves and actually what she was doing at the time I mean not only was it empowering women but it was also empowering the way we dress but it was also about buying something that was exquisite keeping it looking after it and you know owning it for a very very long time sort of roll on how many years later and it's a completely different landscape out but there. it's what are people not understanding in terms of the damage that fast fashion is doing to our environment um, okay so as a world um, last year an estimated 10 billion garments were produced. And that's roughly three times the global population and 30 to 50 um, collections are produced a year. And as fast as climate change is happening, there is still only one to four seasons a year <laughs> anywhere in the world. So really the industry is propelling at such a speed of the waste um, that the environment can't cope with it and we can't cope with it as consumers. But Amy, how do we change the mindset of consumers? Obviously you have yeah. a label that yeah. you have some yeah. people following it passionately, yeah. but in general. Yeah, I mean it's an education process isn't it we've actually just created a film with BBC Earth which is a two and a half minute consumer facing film to tell them what the problems are the implications of what they're doing and then also actually some solutions that they can work to because consumers genuinely have no idea the impact of what is happening with their choices of the way that they're purchasing Absolutely. we've been marketed for years this idea of how brilliant it is to have garments over and over and over again fast fashion new outfits every day we're being sold that they don't actually understand the impact so what resonates with them is it what's actually happening in the supply chain or is it what's happening to the environment do you think, um well uh, so, for example, at Deploy, what we do differently is that the whole sustainable sourcing is just at the start of the supply chain. And what we really do is that we try to design consumers' incentive into uh, the garments. So not only we use natural wools from Northern England as one of our signature cape designs, we think about multifunction, such as a garment that you can wear with or without the sleeves, and you use the fabrics, oop. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I see, so you can transform you can, it. Exactly, so you can wear it in different season and you can change it to different styles of sleeves. So you can still have multiple styles, you have added value, but you have much more reduced waste in the whole supply chain. So the way we design innovate, uh, innovatively is by actually using creativity as an opportunity and to reduce and waste. And you're asking people as well, Amy, to buy into the story of a garment. Of course. Which is quite nice. Do you know, I think there's a real interesting topic going on with social media is we've spent years buying into logos. We're paying premiums for logos. What if we change our mindset? What if we pay premiums on ethics of businesses, transparency of businesses? If the consumer can shift their mindset, maybe they understand the value in the ethics over the logo itself. And briefly, Benice, is it the consumer's responsibility or government's responsibility? Well, I think as consumers, we can certainly choose differently to make a difference. What we don't buy is as important as what we do buy. As governments, it's critical to actually start legislating on this yeah. matter. And uh, the way banking had to be regulated after the crash, the way that energy industry have to be made compliant. Fashion industry has to be made compliant to reduce waste. Thank you both very much. An interesting discussion on the day, of course, that uh, fashion icon Karl Lagerfeld has died. We'll be looking back at his life throughout the day here on BBC.